Sydney well, will say this. Well, last week it was disappointing for Karingal. I got beaten by Rye by one point, and I know that my boss, Glenn Carter, asked Mike Tree for an interview, and Mike said, not this week. I think words to that effect. But he's happy to oblige today after his team has made their way through to the preliminary final. Winners are grinners, Mike. Yeah, definitely. Um, you put that in a nice light. They probably weren't my words to cast last week, but yeah, no, I wasn't too happy after the game last week. But um, no, good response by the boys today, so I was wrapped. How disappointed were you last week? We were very disappointed. Um, not to understate it, Roy were fantastic. So um, I think the boys just coming with the wrong mindset, knowing having a pretty young group and going into a into a big final, I think they probably took the game for granted, knowing that we'd had a really good win against Roy four weeks prior. Um, they had a few changed guys that we hadn't seen throughout the year that have been playing senior footy and they played brilliant so that was harder at it they wanted a lot more and um, they showed us how to play a big final so yeah we, we got a couple of chances late in the game to, to honestly pinch it from them and it probably wouldn't have been a fair result in the end they just played a lot better and deserved their win so they were terrific so how did you change it around this week in regard to preparation yourself and the team yeah um again probably um learned a lot of valuable lessons just from um the intensity of a final um you know playing junior finals coming into um a senior club and playing under 19s a lot quicker a lot bigger bodies um, the ball moves around a lot quicker it wasn't easy conditions last week um but yeah just to learn that invaluability of putting your head over the footy and just and starting with the basics um you know a, a few heart to hearts this week and a lot of honesty um, a lot of blokes really um, challenged their teammates, not just me. And um, they trained the house down. We brought a couple of blokes in that have come off injury um, that were huge for us today. Just stronger bodies and harder over the footy and, and the result showed, so it was great. Were you expecting to play Somerville or Crip Point, who'd won a lot more games in the home and away season than the Eagles had, and they maybe Crip Point could have had a bit of stage fright? I think that's what the, the club said in the second half last week. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, we had a couple of good wins against Cribby. That was that was fantastic. And we played them round 18 down at Crip Point, and they um, adapted to the conditions perfectly. And they were really hard around the ball. Um, and some we'd only played once, so we hadn't seen a lot of them. I know a few of their guys pretty well, and they're real classy blokes. Um, Nick Mason and so forth have played a lot of senior footy, um, so we knew their mix was different too. That's what I was worried about. They had 10 different players come into the team that we beat at round eight or nine or whatever it was. So, no, we were definitely on. We weren't taking them for granted because we know they're a good footy side, and they definitely took us up to us in the in the first half. And the boys were good enough to respond in the second, and we got out and ran and really on the spread, really um, showed them how we run and use the footy, and that was the difference in the end. So, I was stoked. How different is the prep going to be for the game against Ryan next week? Um, no, we'll, we'll probably go about it the same way. Um, I suppose this time they won't be walking in there thinking it's going to be a shoe-in, that's for no. sure. So um, I think Red Hill, um, yesterday watching that game, they really showed how to go about finals footy. You could see a lot of those guys that had that experience from last year winning the flag. And um, they just brought the pressure from Day Dot and really got out and ran. And, um, and Ryan couldn't respond. So um, that's what we'll be doing this week. Um, again, a few different personnel changes from, from the game today. Um, but we'll know sort of a little bit more what to expect this week. And, and I'm sure if the guys get out and play the way they did here in the second half, we can get the result, hopefully. And start a bit better than you did against Ryan last week. Yeah, exactly, Mike. exactly right. Yeah, so head over it. Um, yeah, hard bodies in the middle, and hopefully we can get our hands on it first and get it out the middle. That's the key, because they killed us out the middle last week, so that'll be the difference. Good on you. Thanks for joining us. Well done today. Good luck next week. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you. I'm confident the reserves can win it now, and I mean, the under-19s are giving themselves another chance. It won't be easy if they get Red Hill. They've still got to get past Rye yet, but the reserves are through to the granny, so they're doing everything right. Oh, look, I'm confident in Mike and his crew in the 19s that if they get there, they're going to, and I think they will, that they'll really give it a good crack. I wouldn't dismiss them. And the reserves, yeah, they're playing, playing really good pressure footy. So, they're, yeah, they've sort of been able to contain the opposition and then get the job done. So, yep, there's plenty of guys still available for that that uh, didn't play yesterday, so it'd be exciting for them. Brett, I'd like to thank you personally from Game Face for all your help this year. You helped us out in a couple of matches that we did in First Division, which was great, and you've always been willing to have a chat, even in a difficult circumstance like today, and I wish you all the best. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks a lot, and thanks to all the Karingal supporters and people that turned up to every week, and especially the final series. Um, really good footy club, and just stick with us. I think we've got a fair way to go.